Welcome to Creative Codex. This is a guided meditation episode called The Middle Pillar. I am your host, MJ Dorian. The Middle Pillar is a meditation popularized by the writer Israel Regardier in the 1930s, most famously in his book of the same name entitled The Middle Pillar. Regardier was a spiritualist, occult writer, and ceremonial magician. His work is often associated with the Western School of Magic and a group called the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, of which he was a prominent member. I started researching this meditation only very recently, and after trying it several times, I noticed some unique and profound effects. So, I wanted to share it with you. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a member of the Golden Dawn, and I don't have any particular religious affiliation. But in practicing this meditation every night over the last two weeks or so, I feel more centered in myself, and I feel more grounded in reality, more stable in a sense. I feel I'm more in control of my animal impulses, and I'm able to make the decisions that I imagine most align with my higher self. It's not a detachment from reality, it's more of this calm and poised engagement with life. A mental clarity. In our highly polarized times, that's a rare and valuable thing. At the end of this meditation, I will share more info with you about the traditions that it comes from. Now, whatever your belief may be, even if you are a devout atheist, I suggest you try this meditation. In fact, I challenge you. Try it once a day for five days. Note the effects it has on your mind, on your energy levels, and on your sense of self. Does it bring you calm? Does it energize you? Does it do both? And, most importantly, does it ground you more in your highest ideals? This is Creative Codex with Israel Regardier's Middle Pillar Meditation. Let's begin. First, find a place where you can stay uninterrupted for about 20 minutes. You can either sit, stand, or lie down. Be sure to position yourself in a way that you are mentally alert but physically relaxed. In this kind of inner work, a good posture, it pays dividends. Once you are settled, we will begin with rhythmic breathing. This will increase your focus and inner awareness. To start, close your eyes. We will breathe in on a count of four and out on a count of four. Don't hold your breath at any point. Let there be a natural and steady circulation of airflow in and out of your lungs. Let's try. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Four, breathe out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Continue this pattern. Try to make sure that you are filling in the lower portion of your lungs, not just your chest. Let the air gently push down on your diaphragm and slowly expand your lower ribs. Continue this rhythmic breathing as we advance to the next steps. We will be visualizing spheres of energy and light in specific places along the center line of your body, which is associated with the middle pillar. During these visualizations, we will also chant ancient Hebrew words, which are divine names of God 
that correspond with each sphere. The vibrations of these Hebrew words help to open up the energy spheres, traditionally called Sferoth. If, for some reason, you cannot say them aloud, intently vibrate these words in your mind while focusing your attention on the respective sphere. We will begin the visualization. Remember to continue your rhythmic breathing in counts of four. It will aid in your focus. Draw your attention to a point just above your head, the crown of your being. Right above you floats a sphere of energy, pure white light. Brilliant and radiant. This sphere of energy just barely touches the top of your skull. It is roughly the size of a dinner plate. Feel its presence and its illuminating glow. Inside of this sphere, we will vibrate the name. E, he, ye. It is important to give it a deliberate vibration in each syllable of the name. I will demonstrate. E, he, ye. We will do this five times. With each vibration, pay attention to the sphere. See if you notice any changes, any movement, any reactions. Let's try together. Deep breath. E he ye. E This sphere is called Kether. From the base of the sphere of Kether, see a shaft of light and energy descend along the length of your spine to your throat area. See how it illuminates the pathway with its golden rays. In the center of your throat, just above your chest and just below your jaw, we will activate the sphere of energy called Dath. We will vibrate the name Yod He Vav He Elohim. Yod He Vav He Elohim. Yod He Vav He. Elohim Yod He Vav He Elohim Yod He Vav He Elohim Yod He Vav He Elohim From the base of the sphere of Doth Again, see a shaft of light and energy descend along the length of your spine to your heart area. The sphere of Tifereth 
is found here, resting just above your diaphragm and reaching to your heart. Inside of this sphere of Tifereth, we vibrate the name Yod He Vav He El Oa Vedath. Yod He Vav He El Oa Vedath. Yod He Vav He E lo a ve da a yod he vav he e lo a ve da yod he vav he e lo a ve da a yod he vav he e lo a ve da a From the base of the sphere of Tifereth, again see the shaft of light and energy extend further along the length of your spine to the area of your generative organs. At the center of your lower hips, we find the sphere of Yesod. Recall the pillar of light which we have formed, which is connecting the last three spheres, providing a river of light that starts at Kether, just above your crown, to Dath, at the center of your throat, to Tifereth, in the center of your chest. And the river of light now reaches the lowest region of your hips. In this sphere of Yesod, we vibrate the name Sha Dai El Hai. Sha Dai El Hai. Sha Dai El Hai. Sha Dai El Hai Sha Dai El Hai Sha Dai El Chai From the base of the sphere of Yesod, you see the pillar of light and energy extend further down between your legs toward the ground and coming to a point just between your ankles. Here we find the sphere of Malkuth the sphere overlaps both your feet. We will activate it by vibrating the name Adonai Ha Aretz. Adonai Ha Aretz. Adonai Ha'aretz 
Adonai Haaretz Adonai Haaretz Adonai Haaretz You now have succeeded in creating a pillar of light that runs through the center of your being and opened the energy spheres of Kether, Dath, Tifereth, Yesod, and Malkuth. The last phase will be to properly circulate this energy and distribute it through all of your physical being down to your cells and all of your non-physical being. We will do this in three steps. Step 1. Return your attention to the crown of your head and the white brilliance of Kether. As you exhale, see multiple streams of energy arching their way out of Kether onto your left, passing through the left side of your body from head to toe, and as you breathe in, see those same streams of energy soaring back through the right side of your body, from toe to head, and re-entering Kether. Breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, see the streams of energy passing on your left, breathe in, and they rise back on your right side. Breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four. Step two. Now we will circulate the energy to the front and the back. Return your attention to the crown of your head and the white brilliance of Kether. As you exhale, see multiple streams of energy arching their way out of Kether, passing in front of you and the front of your body, from head to toe. And as you breathe in, see those same streams of energy soaring back through the back of your body, from heel to head and re-entering Kether. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, see the streams of energy pass in front of you. Breathe in, and they rise back behind you. Breathe out, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. Breathe in. Two, three, four. You now have waves of energy crossing at right angles above and below you. Step three. Bring your attention to your feet and the glowing sphere of Malkuth that is between them. As you continue to breathe deeply, see a ray of power coming from the right side of Malkuth, moving over to your left foot and around the back of the sphere. Observe this white cord of light as it winds its way around Malkuth and around your legs creating a spiral that climbs its way upward. Repeat the same movement again and again, winding this ray of light until, eventually, you feel a distinct whirling sensation 
that rises up your waist and chest. The ray of light wrapping in around your arms and shoulders, spiraling higher around your neck and head at your crown, returning to the source of Kether. Give a moment and reflect on all you have done. See the glowing spheres of the middle pillar connected by a radiant shaft of light. Remember the streams of energy that you circulated throughout your left and right sides and those that circulated in front and behind you. Finally, recall the spiral ray that ascended from the sphere at your feet to the source above you. If you feel inclined, give a prayer of thanks to the universe or divine energy of your choosing. This concludes the middle pillar meditation. It's so valuable in practices like this to reflect on what you felt, what you saw or heard. I keep a journal for just such a purpose. It helps you to pay respect to your inner world and it solidifies the experience. You can also return back to it in the future and compare notes to where you were when you first started to where you end up when you've been practicing it for days, months, years. Now that you have tried this meditation, I challenge you to do it once a day for five days. You already started today, so only four days left, right? I've noticed with this one that the changes and improvements it provided in my day-to-day -day life, they were very subtle at first. But as you repeat it, you will notice the positive results, without a doubt. It's a powerful and effective meditation, which aims to balance the energies inside of you, both psychologically and spiritually. And curiously enough, it has its positive effects, even if you don't believe in spiritual worlds or energies. When we started the meditation, I may have at first sounded familiar to you. Perhaps you thought it was similar to chakra work, like I did. That was my first impression. But it is quite different. For one, chakra work usually starts from the lowest chakra moving upward. And secondly, the placement of the energy centers is pretty different. The middle pillar instead belongs to the tradition of Jewish mysticism called Kabbalah. That's K-A-B-B-A-L-A-H. Specifically, the hermetic interpretation of that tradition, especially as it's represented in the hermetic order of the Golden Dawn. Yeah, really great esoteric stuff <laughs> we're going over here. Now, each one of the energy orbs is associated with an ancient name in Hebrew, the vibrations of these names are believed to be emanations of God. Compelling stuff. The curious thing about Israel Regardier is that, again, he was around in the 1930s, 1940s, and he had a doctorate in psychology. He argues in the book, The Middle Pillar, that there is a significant overlap between analytical psychology and ceremonial magic, and that they both have the potential to improve the overall mental and physical health of an individual, but that only ceremonial magic and practices like meditation can improve the spiritual health of an individual. Some food for thought. In closing, I'm going to continue working with the middle pillar. And if you are curious about learning more about it and the intersection between psychology and magic, I suggest picking up one of Israel Regardier's books. His last name is spelled R-E-G-A-R-D-I-E. As I mentioned at the start, 
I'll be posting a version of this meditation without the opening introduction on the Creative Codex YouTube channel. So check that out. I'd love to hear your experiences with the middle pillar or any questions you may have. Head over to our subreddit. Just search Creative Codex on Reddit and join that little community and you can post anything you want there. I love reading and hearing your thoughts or questions. Until next time, this is Creative Codex, and I am MJ Dorian, signing out. Be well.